Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here, coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on making a playtime counter, counting in-game time using scoreboards. So for today's video, we have a few command blocks set up over here, and the first command block here is counting how many seconds the player has been inside the game. So basically what we're doing here is we're doing a delay of 20 ticks, because in Minecraft, one tick is a 20th of a second. So 20 ticks equals one second in Minecraft. So forward slash scoreboard players add at any one seconds one. That's running one time per second. And you can see if I keep clicking in and out of here, it's adding more and more seconds to me. And in order to get this command here to work, it's probably going to pop up and say that there is no objective named that. So we're going to need to actually add ourselves a scoreboard objective. So we're going to write in the chat here this time. We're going to go scoreboard. And then we're going to do objectives, so scoreboard. Scoreboard objectives add, and then we're going to choose the name of our objectives, which in this case is seconds. And then we're going to write the word dummy. And it's going to pop up and say an objective with the name seconds has been added. If that's run cor correctly, for me, I already have the objective with the name seconds, so it says already exists. So now we're going to move on to minutes here. And this one here is going to run with actually no delay on it. It would be better for this. And we're going to do scoreboard players add at anyone scores equals seconds equals 60 and then two dots, minutes one. And then you want to make sure that your seconds equals 60 is also inside of those squiggly brackets just like that there. And what that's doing is adding anyone with a score of 60 seconds or higher, and they're giving it one point on the minute scoreboard. And then this here is going to do forward slash scoreboard players remove at anyone scores equals seconds equals 60 and it's going to go ahead and remove anyone who has 60 seconds or higher and it's going to take away 60 seconds from them and you want to make sure that you don't use any delays on any of these actually either I accidentally put a delay here as well because I pick block them blocks so you want to make sure that all the rest of these commands in here run on either a very low delay or maybe a five tick delay just so you guys don't notice that changing too much when you display it and the next one here, after we remove our 60 seconds from the player, now they have one minute on the scoreboard. So we're going to make sure we actually add ourselves a scoreboard objectives for minutes as well. So we're going to click in here and we're going to add another scoreboard objective, which is scoreboard objectives add. And this time we're going to call it minutes dummy. So we're going to go minutes. And then that should say that you've added a minutes scoreboard to you if you've done that correctly. And then this one here also is going to run on a no delay or maybe a five tech delay as we discussed earlier. And it's going to go scoreboard players add at anyone scores equals. And then it's minutes equals 60 dot dot in the brackets there. And then we're going to go and add one hour to them, so hours one. So now we're creating another scoreboard that's called hours, and anyone who earns 60 minutes will get one point on the hours scoreboard. And then here as well, we're gonna do no delay, and it's gonna be scoreboard players remove at anyone scores equals, and then in the brackets, again, it's minutes 60 dot dot, and then we're gonna remove minutes 60. So anyone with 60 minutes or higher will lose 60 minutes and gain one hour. And then again, you're going to have to make sure that we run a similar command there where we're going to just go ahead and change this over to the word hours dummy. And we're going to add ourselves a hours objective into the world. And you can see I already have an hours objective. So now anyone who has played for 60 minutes has received one hour with these two commands here and now in this case here we're going to work on a days objective so this one could run with a small delay or no delay and it's going to be forward slash scoreboard players add at anyone scores equals hours 24 dot dot inside the brackets days one so now anyone with a score of 24 hours or higher will get a one point on the day scoreboard and then this here is a similar command, scoreboard players remove at anyone, scores equals hours 24 dot dot, hours 24. So now anyone with 24 hours or higher will have 24 hours removed from them. And then basically anyone who played for 24 hours ends up getting one day. And then same thing here, you're going to want to make sure that you go ahead and add yourselves a days dummy objective. So we're going to go ahead and write scoreboard players add days dummy. And then you can see I already have the days 
So now that this is actually counting time for us, it's going to go ahead and count seconds, minutes, hours, days. You could go as far as you wanted with that. If you wanted to count weeks, you could just go ahead and remove a point from anyone who has seven days, you know, and add a weak point to anyone who has seven days. And then you could go months and so on and so forth, whatever you'd like to do. I recommend using this type of scoreboard here actually as the in-game counter and not for mini games and stuff like that. This one is a little bit more complex than it needs to be for a mini game. So I'll go ahead and toss a link up at the top of the screen here for a mini games timer as well, which will be my next video. So now as far as displaying these scoreboards to the players, it's totally up to you how you'd like to do it. Um, I wouldn't recommend displaying all of them on the sidebar or in the menu, but you could re you know, display how many days or hours players um, play in the menu here. You can see I have a couple of scoreboards rotating in my main menu between shark bites and then if we stick around in this main menu long enough it should rotate to officials eventually but um, that's not really how I like to display it. For this particular scoreboard I actually like to use a raw title command and I run a raw title at a player that's either standing inside of a particular area, like if I wanted to do this area here, I could run a raw title at a player inside of this DX, DY, DZ, or in this case, I think I'm actually going to just go ahead and run a raw title at anyone who's standing near an NPC. So you can see if I place this NPC here, it pops up on my screen and says that I've been in game for one day and 54 minutes. And basically, the way that we can accomplish that there is we're going to get ourselves an NPC spawn egg, and we're going to name that NPC a particular name, like in my case, I use the name Timebot. And then I like to go ahead and put that NPC down and actually put them on a structure block sometimes. And I go ahead and, you know, um, after we're done editing the NPC's characteristics and stuff, if I put a message in them and, you know, change their skin to something else, I like to go ahead and save them on a structure. That's a good tip there. And then as far as actually getting the scoreboard to execute a raw title um, at a player standing near the NPC, that's this command here. So this one here is going to be repeat unconditional always active. It's going to be a raw... Um, text or a raw title command. I like to call it a raw title. Um, so forward slash execute at entity type equals NPC name equals time bot. So if you use a different NPC name, that's where you're going to want to put your NPC's name. And then tilde 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 forward slash title raw at P. And then this is where you decide how far away the message is going to display on players. I did like a radius of five blocks here. Then you're going to write the word action bar, and then you're going to open up your first squiggly bracket, and you're going to write in quotations the word raw text. You're going to put colon, so you're going to open up a square bracket and a squiggly bracket, and then you're going to write the word text. And then you're going to put a set of colon, a another, op another quotation mark, and then this basically is where you're going to want to go ahead and start selecting who the next person is. So you're going to close your bracket, write a comma, open a bracket, and then you get the word selector. And then I put at P in a radius of 5. So I recommend using a similar selector to you did up at the top so that only players that are in the correct radius is score is going to pop up and the only player that's going to see it is going to be them. So for the rest of this, we're going to use at P R equals 5. Um, you also could use at S here, actually, if you want to make that more simple. So you could just write at S. Then we're going to open up another set of brackets and we're going to start our text here. And then we're going to do player info. Um, is what I wrote, and I used some color symbols. Now that I click on it, you can see that I used some color symbols here to change the color of the selector in the beginning, and then I use color symbols now to write the word player info in blue. Then I'm using another color symbol with the lowercase r to return back to regular text. And then it's kind of hard to see unless we scroll up to it, I guess. Let's see. I don't know why it's blocking that there, but basically it's just opening up the bracket. It's writing the word text just like we did before. Um, it's closing those quotation marks, and then it's writing days in game with a fancy color. Um, then it's going to just go ahead and change the color to white, and then change the color to blue to write those. Then this here is where it's important that we're going to open up another set of brackets, and we're going to write score dot dot name dot at S or at P objective, and then this right here is where you choose your scores. So I wrote days on the first one, hours on the second one, and minutes on the third one. And then you can see that we have a couple of brackets there closing. We got the word text opening some brackets, hours. And then we're going to go ahead and close our text brackets with a comma there, which you can't see on screen for some reason. And we're going to open some brackets and we're going to do that same thing where we wrote score, name, objectives, hours. Then we're going to close that, open up for text and do the same thing for minutes there. And then at the end you just want to make sure the only thing different here is that you're actually going to go ahead and use 
four brackets because you want to make sure you close the exact same amount of brackets that you opened. Um, I understand that the raw text and the raw titles are very confusing um, command. I'm trying to get it to show us that little bit on the side there. There we go. They're very confusing commands to look at, but if you break it up into little sections, it's not too confusing. Basically, everything's just being separated by a pair of squiggly brackets and a comma. Um, if you guys go ahead and throw 100 likes on this video, I will make a dedicated video to just showing you guys how to make raw text for the minutes, hours, and days. So if you guys found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe over here to Arctic Shark Games on YouTube and Arctic Shark Games on Twitch.